we have this notion kind of it's it's like a, an axiom in our culture if you will that in order to have a healthy ecosystem we have to sacrifice the economy and in order to have a healthy economy we have to sacrifice the ecosystem and part of my lunacy is that I really believe we can have both polyface really signifies the farm of many faces yeah we knew day one that we would not be a single species or a single dimension farm we would not be cattle farmers or chicken farmers or corn farmers that we would be a very multi yeah multi-faceted kind of uh, place at polyface our goal is to collect as much solar energy as possible and grow as much grass as possible because we're completely grass-based from the beginning and everything starts there. You know, this is uh, 500 birds and uh, they just free range out and you can see how they scatter and they go in the, in the shelter, in the, the egg mobile to lay. And so every day we move it. So yesterday it was down there. This morning I moved it up here. Tomorrow it'll move up. So it's just following the cows. Hey ladies. Hey ladies. How are you? So they're laying, they're laying the eggs right here in the nest boxes inside. So you got, got eggs. So they're, they're just in here. That, that one's uh, just fresh. You can see it's still wet. So they're in there doing their, doing their business. We move the cows every single day to a new salad bar to mimic the, the herbivore, like the wildebeest, bison, uh, cape buffalo, to, to mimic the way they move, mob, and mow in nature. Once the broilers, the meat birds, come out into the little floorless uh, field shelters, those are also on the pasture. And, and we graze there, they become the centerpiece and the cows graze ahead of them to shorten the grass because chickens like short grass. Then the egg mobile with the laying hens would follow in behind them, about three days behind, scratch through for sanitation, cleaning up cow pies and repugnancy zones, uh, fertilizing with their own manure. The pigs, of course, are sanitizing behind the cows in the barn. So it's all in an effort to capture the nutrients produced by the animals, put that back and feed the soil that would then more effectively capture solar energy and produce biomass in the form of grass. That's our goal. This can't be done industrially. It takes warm bodies. And you can't just leave it to a computer and go off and sip coffee and let engines and machines run it all. It, it, it's hands-on, it's, it's, it's craft, it's artisanal, it's, it's the potter wheel, you know. We have this cultural, this cultural stigma against an agrarian existence. You know that that's only good enough for, you know, the the the, the D and the F students. You know, the redneck hillbilly trip over the transmission in the backyard, tobacco spitting, rah, you know, uh, grammar assaulting uh, hillbilly. That's the farmer. And if you don't believe me, you just tell me when's the last time you went to a little league game. And all the soccer moms were, you know, strutting their stuff and telling all, you know, all about their child prodigies, you know, and mine plays Chopin at five years old. And, you know, all these, well, when's the last time you heard a soccer mom say to the other gals in the group, guess what? My son or daughter is going to be a farmer. We don't do that.